Hey guys, it's Handy Camper and uh, Wife Camper, and it's another cooking video. How about that? We're gonna do cast iron, uh, cast iron cooking. So it'll be maybe this will go on a Wednesday or just a random day. But anyway, today Wifey Camper is gonna show you how she makes her delicious buttermilk biscuits. Stick around. <laughs> I've already got self rising flour. I put two cups in here because he wants a big batch today. <laughs> I usually don't measure out because the last time we did it, it seemed like it was even better. And I've got my shortening ready. Crisco, self rising flour, buttermilk. Oh yes, and I got my buttermilk ready. And what else, what's the other ingredient we put in there? I put salt in there, salt. but I haven't got the salt yet. I need the salt. So sorry about that. Cause I really like the the Bojangles biscuits. They're so good. But I put remember I put butter on them last time too. You forgot about that. Yeah, I don't, don't never measure. Salty. Just be quiet. Who's making them? Yes, he always has to say something. I'm the backseat driver. Mm -hmm. But you see, he ain't making the biscuits. It's usually about two cups of flour and six tablespoons of shortening. And I've got the cast iron pan greased up with some Crisco. It's ready. Got the oven set for uh, 400 degrees. And now she's going to add, we got in the bowl right now, we've got the flour and some salt. And now we we'll do all the dry ingredients first. And as you can tell, I don't really uh, measure, measure. <laughs> A little extra don't hurt. You can hear in the background there, the dehydrator going, making some beef jerky. There's one. Sounds like a oh. hair dryer. <laughs> Two. All right, I've got my six tablespoons of the shortening in there, Crisco. Now I just got to get my hand in there. I'll get my buttermilk ready. I'm not even going to measure it this time. I'm just going to go by feel. But all you gotta do, just get in there and kind of mix it. But the, it's, the key is to not mess with it so much. But you want these all crumbled up so the Crisco and the flour can get mixed really well before you start adding the buttermilk. Or that's what I do. We'll make sure the show to print finished product when we get done, guys. We're getting ready to make a, a big breakfast. We're gonna do some bacon and eggs and grits, buttermilk biscuits. Yes, I got, yeah, I got the rich ready. Sunday morning. All right, now you, as you, if you can see, I've got it pretty much, well, I see a few lumps, but you can tell it's kind of just lumpy all around. I've got it all mixed in really well. Now we're gonna add in the buttermilk. cold <laughs> and really sticky and then if you put too much buttermilk all you gotta do is add more flour or vice versa because right now I got it really sticky <laughs> that's stuck to this hand I think I should have chose the other hand for this one should have used your strong hand <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, this picking is on her where she had broke her wrist, guys. She's trying to use it as much as she can. She's doing really good. This is supposed to be my strong hand. <laughs> All right, guys, hang on. We'll be right back with you. The wife always makes fun of me because I always like to take one sip of the buttermilk. Just see if it, see if I remember it tasting the same as it used to. Oh. It ain't that bad. Give me I can't drink it. I can't drink it. Just a little bit more. Just a hint. I'm over it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to make it a little more runnier. Not as much, but the 
last batch was a little dry. It's about perfect though. Yep. But you want to get just a little bit more moist. Yep. And she's folding. Yeah, I'm folding a little bit. All right. Now I need that my cast iron. And yeah. All right, guys. Hang on just one second. We'll be right back. If he will finally give me some flour for my hands, then I'll get these things patted out. But even when you're patting them out, the the less you touch them, the better. So I'm just lightly gonna put them in the cast iron. Just flatten it out a little bit and put it in the cast iron. It's easy. I'm touching it as little as possible for the most part. And we always fight over the middle biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> the little one always wants the middle biscuit. But if I make them, I think I can about choose. I need a little more flour. Who gets that middle biscuit? You guys leave a comment below if you guys do the same thing if y'all make biscuits. Who gets the middle biscuit? Leave a comment below and let me know. We kind of take turns. Hey, can I help? You're a little late for helping. <laughs> <laughs> Always late to the party. Always late to the party. I'm ready. Can I help? I'm, I'm about done. I get the middle biscuit. What'd you say? I said I get the middle biscuit. <laughs> Is that right? Are you calling it already? Yeah. That's only if I allow you to have my middle biscuit. Right? Okay. All right, guys. There they are in the pan. And Wifey Camper's going to do uh, probably one more thing here before we put them in the oven. What you going to do, Wifey Camper? I'm going to put some butter on top of each one. Oh. A little butter on top, huh? All over the top, so. Because I did this last time and you loved them. They were good. <laughs> they don't last long, even the leftover ones. Yeah, you ate all of them. That's why I said let's do a bigger pan and it still ain't that many. Alright, now they're going to go in the oven and we're going to, we always fight over how long they need to cook in the oven. That's funny. Just to let you know. So we'll see. We're going to put them in there for 10 minutes and then see how they look. But I probably need another 10 minutes. But he will say, no, they don't. <laughs> in the oven they go for 10 minutes. Awesome. Cook them up. So what we got going on this morning, getting ready to open that up and check the biscuits. Bacon and eggs. And yellow grits. Get ready to pop this thing open and check these biscuits. Oh, don't they look so good? Oh, we'll need a few more minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll say that. I'll put it on five minutes. There you go. <laughs> we'll get back with you in just a second, guys. It's probably going to be clean. Oh, yeah. mm, they look good. Yeah, they're in. I think they're done. Did you look at the bottom of them? I know they're not done. I think they're done. Five more minutes. Whoa, five more minutes? All right, guys, put it on there for five more minutes. It's been 20. <laughs> that, that's usually about how long it takes. Yeah, I know. Now they're done. What do you think? I think I need to... You need a fork lock. or a spoon or something. Check the bottom of it. Perfect. Look at that, guys. Take 20 minutes. And I might even put a little more butter on Oh, my We've got a bacon thief over here. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Trying to get some bacon. Bacon thief. How many pieces have you already had stole over here? Three. <laughs> no. Two. All right, guys. There's the biscuits, and we're going to get one out, and uh, she's going to put a little butter on there. We'll get back with you in just a second. We'll do a taste test.
bacon. Lots of bacon. What in the world? What are you doing? I'm bacon bacon. I'm here to steal your bacon. Here, what? I'm here to steal your bacon. Oh. Uh. I don't think she's gonna be hungry. <laughs> All right, guys. There's the biscuits are done. Got our plates made up here. Check out what we got. We got buttermilk biscuits, some yellow grits, eggs, and bacon. I'm getting ready to take a bite of this biscuit and see see how it tastes. So, uh, All right, guys. Out. We're gonna try. The... She's like over here snacking on it already, and I ain't even that. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna try the biscuit. Wifey camper's gonna try it and tell you what she thinks first. Now I'm gonna take a bite of it and tell you what I think. How's it taste? Yeah? Perfect. Mm hmm. Mm. Look at that, I mean, it even stays together. Mmm. And... Oh my gosh. It's like she didn't measure out a single bit of that except for the Crisco, and it was. Barely measured out. You mean the butter? I mean the flour? <laughs> the flour, yeah, she done measured out the flour, but everything else was kind of like a stone in there to what she's used to. But there you go, guys. Buttermilk biscuits. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Let's go eat this before it gets cold. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Definitely comment below, guys, if you like buttermilk biscuits and uh, how you guys make your buttermilk biscuits. If they, you make them any different than we do, uh, if you measure yours out or if you don't measure them out, let me know in the comments, guys. I'd love to hear from you how you do your biscuits. And uh, we're going to go eat this breakfast, and we'll talk back with you soon. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Handy out.